a very good day to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now it is very um a blessing it's a blessing to me when i see people who comment when i see people who get in touch with me when i see people who are delivered from their afflictions it is it blesses me a lot when people send me messages and they say man of god the word that released was right for me the word that released helped me out in my affliction in my stress in my predicament it blesses me a lot so my brothers and sisters before i begin this word if you have been watching this uh ministry and you have been following this ministry or if you have just watched me for the very first time and this ministry has been a blessing to me you can let me know uh one in the comment section two you can send me a message through my email address or through my whatsapp number and god will bless you also if you are there and you want to be a blessing to this ministry you want to be a part of this ministry you want to support this ministry with whatever you have it doesn't matter whether you have one dollar it doesn't matter whether you have two dollars ten dollars five hundred dollars a thousand dollars whatever amount that god puts in your um spirit that you should give if you want to support this ministry through your giving you can do so through my people some of you if you want to give tithes if you want to give seeds if you want to uh, be a part of a community you can do so through my paypal account remember my paypal is in the about section of this amazing channel my brothers and sisters when you do so your breakthrough will come quick some of you all that you need is to give all that you need is to pray all that you need is to be uh, a person that blesses the things of god that supports the things of god my brothers and sisters if you need prayer you can also send me a message through my whatsapp number or through my email address and i will pray for you don't be shy the bible says it clear that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much keep on praying be persistent in your prayers this year make a goal have a dream that this year you are going to get your breakthrough set up goals that this year you are going to be a part of a ministry that you're going to support the things of god my brothers and sisters and i have a word for you and this word is going to of course be a blessing to somebody who's watching me right about now the bible the, the word says that don't be troubled this is today's word don't ever be troubled only believe in jesus christ of nazareth and everything is gonna be all right just believe i know some of you there are things that are troubling you your children are troubling you. Some of you don't know even where children are. Some of you, of course, you know, and you're trying to fight a legal battle. Some of you, there is a, a court case that is coming up. This word is for you. Don't be troubled. Some of you, someone wants to snatch what belongs to you. Some of you have land, houses, property that the enemy wants to take, the bank wants to take, the court systems want to take, your ex wants to take. Don't be troubled believe in god somebody is going to receive a miracle somebody is going to receive good news if you believe in god i would like you to read the word of god to love the word to give yourself to prayer and fasting don't worry of what is happening in your life some of you the reason as to why your breakthrough has not yet come is because of just a few things you don't pray and if you pray you only pray for a few minutes jesus found his disciples sleeping he told them couldn't you watch with me couldn't you pray with me for at least an hour god's standard to his disciples was for at least an hour because they had matured to a level where they were supposed to pray for at least one hour some of you there are things that you are fighting in life and you need an hour of prayer to deal with that that enemy three minutes will never deal with your enemy you can pray for three minutes every day or every week but it will never go until you develop a prayer 
system, a culture of prayer. You give yourself entirely to prayer. Daniel would pray. He would pray even to an extent when the king had made a decree. That anyone who is found praying at this time, at this moment, will be thrown in the lion's den. Daniel was not afraid of the lions. Some of you, there are lions that are coming after you. There are kings that are coming after you. I'm not saying spirit, uh, physical kings. These are spiritual kings. They have said you know, should not pray on this day. But the lions could not handle Daniel. Even when he was thrown in the lion's den. For those that have read the story, you know that he, God shut the mouth of the lions. And they could not consume him. So my brothers and sisters, don't be troubled. Even in prayer, when you pray, don't be. You see, when you are troubled while praying, when you are thinking about your problem, that means you are giving high relevance or you are giving high importance to your problem. It is your, like your problem has become your master. What you do when you go to prayer, you give your troubles to God. The Bible says, cast your cares, cast your burdens unto God, unto Jesus, for he cares. Do you have a lot of burdens? Do you have a heavy laden? Cast it unto God, for he cares. Now, today's powerful scripture is from the book of John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6. The Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And receive you to myself. That where I am, there are, where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know. And the way you know. Now, the Bible says in verse 5 that Thomas says to him, say to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. What a very powerful word. The words that I've just spoken right now, all that I've just read, are very powerful. Jesus told his disciples that let not your heart be troubled. Because he knew they were troubled. Listen, these were people who were around the master. They would touch him. They would see him. If they had problems, they would call him and he prays for them. They were with the solution. And yet they were troubled. You could be with Jesus with you, and yet you are troubled. Jesus could be in your boat, and yet you are sinking. And yet you may not know. You may not be aware of the God you serve. So let not your heart be troubled. Don't think that God has left you. The Bible says, he said, he told them, believe in God. Believe also in me. He told them clearly, believe in God and believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. Jesus has gone to prepare a place for you. Brothers and sisters, there's a place for you. In my father's house, there's a place for you. In God's house, in God's place, in God's uh, domain, there's a place for you. There's a place for you. So don't be troubled. Don't look down on yourself. This word, is right for someone who has been troubled. You could be doubting, like the doubting so Thomas, who did not know where God was going. And Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and life. I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, you are watching me right now, that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the way, the truth, and life. Until next time, 
Shalom.